Hey everybody, I'm Stephen21967, and we have an update for Miss Survival. So I'll read it so you don't have to. It says it's posted Sunday, April 25th. Progress update number two. Hello everyone, please check out monthly progress update below. System and gameplay. Code refactor. Code refactor tree and foliage save logic. Code refactor item spawner logic. System rework. Undrivable cars. Player can get into the car. Undrivable car. New visual and texture improvement work in progress. Undrivable car. Drivable car. Add more points of interest inside the car. Work on progress. Um, and we have the. Okay, I'm not sure about the system rework about undrivable versus drivable. I know that we're going to have. To do more work to make a car drivable, if my understanding is correct from the last update. Uh, dynamic events. The event will randomly occur. Okay, the events will randomly occur at various points. Players will be able to hear sounds from a distance, such as a car crash or helicopter crash. With some event, there will be mini quests such as rescuing survivors trapped in the car. Okay. That sounds good. Dramatic event, crash, uh, car crash site. So, so apparently this is one of the events. It looks like they have a little question icon up here. You can click on it, and maybe that gives you a quest to go find the survivor and you know bandage them up and take them back, get them somewhere, you know where they could be safe, and you know an NPC that maybe later will help craft things for you. So here we go, pet, pet update following player while running so this is kind of cool uh, it looks a lot like dogs that uh, you know they do run ahead of us quite a bit run all over the place um can get into car with player and we'll see that right down here so you see a little doggy in here in the front seat hanging out and status hunger thirst stamina feeding okay and then we've got a Asterisk feeding animation still work in progress progress will change at release You can kind of look at this animation again here So when this cycles through you'll see that he's waiting outside the door you get inside the dog gets inside and Here's like looks like you got the whistle and you, or you know the dog collar whatever it's going to be I can't remember what they called it it's just a system for interacting with the dog and then you give the dog food all right then we have a fishing system in here work in progress fishing system let's get this started so all right So it looks like uh, there's an actual effort to catching fish. It's not going to be just throw your line in and and hit the hit the reel and you and you get a fish, hook it and you get a fish. It looks like you actually have to play with the fish to catch it. Oh, looks like the fish got away. I uh, let's see what I think about that. I I always hate that. I always hate that in the games. Like when I go fishing, man, I. I just want to catch the fish. Really don't want to lose the fish. Oh man, I hated that in um, in Stranded Deep. Really hated fishing so much. I just refused to do it. Okay, Survivors NPC. Working on two new NPCs, which each person has their own unique skills, and they will come with side quests to unlocking more craft parts, items, and player skills. So here's a mechanic to customize some vehicles. Some vehicles, part players must have an in, this NPC in your camp. So this is our mechanic. And she's going to help us out. Um, let's see, whatever, crafting whatever tools that we need a mechanic to craft. Whether it's upgrading our car or making our car work. We have a sword maker. So Katana is the most powerful melee weapon in the game. It's going to be made from this NPC. Hopefully these NPCs have more than just one thing they can craft for us because then they're kind of crappy You know NPCs is like all I can make is katanas Well, maybe you make me a spear and make you can make axes or battle axe or 
something really cool. And we have work in progress, 3D models here. All right, materials and texture, survival, survivors, NPC texture improvement. Um, you know, I like I like that she looks like that, but in my opinion, if you're a survivor, you're probably going to be pretty dirty and very sunburnt. You're probably going to have a lot of skin damage because you probably don't. We're, we're probably all having a hard time getting SPF, you know, sunblock and everything. So she should she should be a little dirtier, a little bit more worn for the wear. You know, maybe some wrinkles because she's been out in the sun too long because that's what the sun does to you. Uh, map and landscape. Landscape rework. Road and route rework. Road texture still work in progress. will change at release. So here's some roads. I mean, it looks okay. Um, I don't know if I ever had a problem with the rogues. The roads, I mean, in the game. I think they're fine. So... I mean, there's lots of guardrails, so it um, looks like they're going to try to keep us from going off, <laughs> off the beaten path. Yeah, it looks like they're going to have some of that in there, so you have to use the roads, and you can't drive off in the, in the, in the environment, which is a bummer because nothing's better than a shortcut um, unless you roll over. Let's see what we have for Discuss. Uh, let's scroll a little bit more. I don't see anything here from the developer. Let's go down here. Let's go to page page two. See if there's anything that the developer responded to. It does look really good. What I'm looking for is the building. Because that's really big in these games. You know, there's build, craft, and survive. A lot of these games have really decent crafting. Uh, the building is, is the tough part. I think a lot of us want to build. And they're, they're in their best, you know, it's in their best interest to, uh, you know, develop robust building so we can make cool things. I think one of the reasons why Valheim is so crazy, is, is so popular, and who knows, it, it may start to, calm down a little bit people lose interest kind of like phasmophobia there's not as nearly as many people playing it or making videos about it as used to um but what's great about uh valheim that i find is so great is the building is is top notch i, th I think it's a lot i haven't played a lot of cr building games but i think it's very good i think it's very good and you have a lot of opportunities to build things Especially if you can find a mod mod maker that gives you something that you can, you know, add on to the building capabilities. So fishing looks pretty good. I like the NPCs. I like the stories. I think, you know, I think the story also starts off with you have a kid and your kid is lost. And you got to find your kid. Um, I would just say, you know, scrap that story. Just get rid of it. It's really not. I mean, it's it's nowhere. It's not going any. It's it's a story that doesn't go anywhere. You know, the game has been out for quite some time now, and the kid has not been in it. The forest. I don't know. I've never played the forest, but I'm assuming that the kid was a part of the story from the very beginning, and in the end, the goal was to find the kid eventually. And then in Miss Survival, it's like, well, okay, you your kid is missing. And here we are, what did this come out, 2018? Here we are in 2021. And no kid, no anything about the kid. Just just scrap it. Just scrap it. There's other stories. You can get involved in other stories with, you know, finding out what is going on with the mist and everything. Just understanding it. And I think increasing, you know, adding NPCs and all that other st cool stuff is is very interesting to me yeah all right so this is, this is the update i think what was it it was july i think it was july is the target date for when all this stuff is going to go live um i'm assuming that a lot of this here in this update 
will be included in the update. I do plan on playing it, but I want to make sure that before I get started in the game, I'd rather wait for once everything goes live to go in and see, you know, what it's like. Because it might be one of those situations where the developer is going to tell people you have to start a whole new brand game, a brand new game. You you won't be able to continue a previous game. So I don't want to get too far into it. I'd, I'd much rather wait for this to come out and, and see what the building is going to be like because I think that's going to be, I think that's a big deal. I think it's a big deal for most of us. I do like looking at other people's builds a whole bunch. So that'll be it for this video. So if you guys like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You get alerts when I come out with new videos every single day and as always comment tell me what are you looking forward to the most what don't you really care about care for and we'll see you guys in the next video later dudes